Let's take a look at how we interface a switch. Let's take a look at how we interface a switch to our microcontroller. The switch we're using is a contact switch. So we're going to use, we have two ways of interfacing this switch. We can use a positive logic. Positive logic says that if the switch is open, then I read a uh, zero volts. And if the switch is closed, then I read a uh, 3.3 volts. So a negative logic by the same measure would be exactly the opposite. That is, an open will get me 3.3 uh, .3 volts and a close will get me 0 volts. But in this project, we're, in this video, we're going to look at a positive logic interface. So the way we are going to read this into our computer, remember that this is the voltage, but what the launch pad or our microcontroller reads it, this as a logic 0 and this as a logic 1. That's our eventual goal. So let's see what would be a simple way to interface our switch. Here is our launch pad microcontroller. I'm going to use a pin, let's say PE0, where I'm going to put a switch. So this is the switch I want to interface. I, I want it to have a positive logic behavior. So I have at my switch, my 3.3 volts, and my ground. So one way to, simple way to think of interfacing this is to say that if I interface it, let's say one end of the switch to my 3.3 volts, and if I take the other end of the switch and connect it there, so now let's look at what happens if we read this state of the switch in my microcontroller. So if I close the switch, that would make the voltage here be 3.3 volts, which for us is a logic 1, which is exactly what I want. Now, if I have the switch open, so if it's open, back to where it was, then what do I read as the input? Well, it looks like I read nothing. Does reading nothing or no voltage constitute a zero? Well, answer is no voltage is no voltage. That is, it's not a zero. So it will float. It, or it'll what we call as float. So what we need is to make sure that this circuit works even when the switch is open in, this, in, in, in keeping with the behavior. So we do that by using a, a pull down resistor. What value would you use? So the pull down resistor has to be of uh, the measure for the pull down resistor should be based on the microcontroller behavior. That is, if I look at the data sheet for the microcontroller, the data sheet for the microcontroller says that the IIL is 2 microamps. So what that is telling is when I have a low, I should get uh, uh, the current that is being delivered by the microcontroller out is uh, 2 microamps. So which kind of tells us that this has to be some value um, in keeping with that. So I'm going to use a resistance here of 10k ohms and see what happens. So by taking a 10k 
kilo ohms as my pull down resistor value, let's see what, what voltage I record at the pin on a low. So I, we use Ohm's law which says voltage equals I times R. So we have our two microamps times my 10 kilo ohms which is a 20 millivolts. And remember that for a logic zero, we said that the computer, our launch pad reads any, anything between zero up to 0 0.8 volts as a logic zero. So this 20 millivolts is way down near the zero. So we will rec record a zero in response to this 20 millivolts. So in summary, if the switch is open, we're going to get a zero here. And if the switch is closed, we're going to get a 3.3, .3, which will be a logic one. What's next? Next we will interface a LED and show what are the governing decisions there.